Hello, this is just a quick video to kind of show you how you can, um, I guess, optimize textures in your environment or your scene, whatever you might have. Uh, this is just the kind of scene I use for these little videos. Uh, just a plain old world petition starter map with some uh, textures and some things going on, some grass from the last tutorial on optimizing grass. Um, so yeah, there's a video online showing you how to do it in Unreal 4, how to edit texture um, quality in the scene, uh, but it's a bit outdated now for Unreal 5, so I thought I'd do this. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. So, in order to actually access the textures, obviously you can, you know, go in and find your individual textures in your content browser. Um, but the way to kind of see what's going on in your scene at the moment is to open up the statistics panel, um, which has been shown as I said online, but I'm going to show you how to do it in Unreal 5. Um, so how you access it is to go to Tools, Audit, Statistics. This will open up a panel. For you it will probably be floating, but I've docked it previously. So I have it up here. For yours will probably be kind of like that, floating about. And what this allows you to do is to see various things that are in your scene so you could change some of these th you know if you wanted to but I've got it on texture stats uh, refresh that and that will show you kind of what's going on I'm going to quickly uh, redock that actually because I like it like that so if you click on these tabs it will swap them about to kind of you know order them about sorry and depending on what you're clicking on you know, if you want to see the, you know, the highest texture value, uh, resolution, sorry, then you would click on this and it would send it to the bottom or the top. So you can see here, uh, this layered rock, which is here in this scene, is up here at the top and it's a 4K texture, 4096 by 4096. And we have three textures uh, here. I've actually, actually uh, done some... What have I done there? Done some, uh, done something funny. Anyway, so yeah, we've got these three layered rock textures here. And if you click on them, it'll take you to their position in your content content browser. So these three here are these three here. So, you know, this allows you to really kind of analyze what's going on in your scene, what is maybe demanding more. Um, resources than others and it allows you to you know basically analyze what you've got so I've clicked on this and this has taken me to these textures and just for your no knowledge that's that's this texture here on the on the mountain side uh, these layered rock textures and you see these are 4k textures so a way to then edit them is you know you can you can either like double click on each one and manually go in and, and make changes to these uh, sizes. See up here it says max in game 4K, displayed 4K, imported 4K. So we want to change it so the max in game value is less, which should give us a bit more of a performance boost. So I'm going to do them all at once, and by clicking and then shift clicking, it allows you to select all three of them. We can then right click, go to asset actions and then bulk edit via property matrix that will open up the property matrix and give you all of these different things that you can do uh, if you come down to this side and go to compression and then tick or not tick but click the maximum texture size that'll open up this maximum texture size uh, edit option so we've got our diffuse normal and our mask so our Diffuse, I'm going to drop that to 2048, which is half, which is uh, 2K, because it's a 4K texture. Then the normal map can be 50% of that. 
uh, 1024 and then the masks can even go 50% of that so we're stepping down for each one because you don't really need that 4k te uh, texture resolution for all of these other maps you don't need it it just doesn't um, it's not visible really in most situations obviously you can have that extra um, quality if you need it but this is where you would control it so then you get this little star which tells you that you need to save it so I then do control shift s which will save everything uh, at once that you've made changes to so now our maximum texture sizes are set to these values so we can then close down the property matrix um, and then we can see that it's not changing here but if we refresh these those layered um, textures will go down it, the list to wherever they are I think uh, I think I spotted it there somewhere my eyes have lost it again but it's somewhere it's somewhere in the list now it's joined all these other 2k textures um, so yeah that's that so if we to go back to this it still shows it's a 4k texture but now we have max in-game at 2k displayed 2k um, so that basically changes our resource size um, cuts it down by a large amount so that will improve on memory in the scene um, and all of that kind of business and there's not really a much of a vis visual difference um, so yeah hopefully that helped uh, and it was just a quick video to show you that.